In this video, we're going to talk about five essentials that you need if you're going to start shipping vinyl records. This could be if you're shipping it as a gift or if this is going to be something you do on occasion. These are the items I recommend getting. Two are almost imperative. Two are, well, let's just say they're optional. And one is absolutely essential. And I'm going to provide a tip in case you are shipping to and from an address within the United States. So make sure to stick around for that. It'll save you money. The first optional one comes if you are shipping something that is used. Personally, whenever I ship something used, I always make sure that it has an inner sleeve. Inner sleeves like this plastic one can help protect the record if you are shipping it and it doesn't already have one. I personally like these kind of MoFi or uh, anti-static plastic ones. They are much better than the paper ones that a lot of records come with. There's less potential for sleeve scuffs and stuff like that on the vinyl itself. Once again, this is optional, but if you are shipping a vinyl record that is used, make sure to ship the inner sleeve with the vinyl record in it outside of the sleeve. And I'll share another video where I kind of go into the packaging and packaging tips next. The next item is very similar. And once again, only really is something I would recommend if you are going to be shipping a lot of records. That is outer sleeves. This can provide a little extra padding and protection when shipping records. Personally, I put all my records in outer sleeves like these. Next, your record shipping box. Now, I buy these in bulk from Amazon. They're about a buck each when you buy them in bulk, um, but you can get smaller quantities like 10 or even, you know, just a handful, but these are made specifically for vinyl records. If you're just shipping one off or a couple, you can always get a seven inch one or a 10 inch one as well. I just have the 12 inch and I'll ship my seven inches in these as well. They fold up nice and neat and there's enough room for two to three records as well. In addition to the box, I also strongly recommend you get some of these, these nice little padding pieces. Now you can make them yourself by cutting out an existing box or cutting pieces of an existing box to provide that extra padding. Extra padding will help protect your records. I have had albums come in one of those nice record boxes, but they have like little puncture pieces and this padding has saved the record itself and the record sleeve from getting damaged. You can do cardboard. You can also use some bubble wrap. I've used this in the past when I didn't have cardboard. Totally acceptable. Cardboard though is a little bit more preferred. It's more sturdy. It is provides a little bit stronger uh, padding for those records. Once again, Everything that I mentioned in this video will have links in the description so you can find them yourself. Finally, if you are shipping vinyl records, the absolute essential piece, you gotta have postage. And if you're shipping from a US address, United States, to another US address, you gotta ship it media mail. And I talk a lot about that in my next video.